Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm of course Trex and welcome back to another DCUO video. So I am right now on the live servers. Uh, there was a request on my video from Bombshell Paradox uh, that someone wanted to know my loadout and learn about it. So uh, that's specifically for you, person who I definitely did not check before I started this video, but this is for you buddy. So. This loadout is, if you guys have actually seen my recent Rage video uh, from test from the test server, testing game update 58 with the mid-range changes for Rage, uh, this is definitely different from that. The reason it is different is because I have remorseless recovery in my loadout. And the reason being is because I like to be able to survive. I like to survive. So I'm going to go into a breakdown in that in just a moment. Uh, but first, let me show you guys my stats. So this is my stats. This is what I'm currently at. My equip CR is at 153. My precision is at 4100 mites at 10k. Yay. Ooh. Go. <laughs> so these are my stats so you guys can get a just a frame of reference on what stats I have when I'm going to go fight these guys. And of course, I only have my white mods. I got max damage, I got core strength, uh, escalating might. And the reason I got escalating might over pers over the uh, relentless per uh, the precision one is because escalating might it increases my might by 3% for eight seconds each time I hit an enemy with a tray ability. When I use the combos for my tray abilities, like Outrage and Eviscerating Chain, when I use those combos, that's precision damage. That precision damage is not going to be increased until I do a combo over 9. Okay, so I have to get a combo over 9. So starting out the gate, I'm already losing a little bit of DPS. So, it, but don't worry, I'll be playing with Escalating Might and... Uh, the precision mod and neck on test server as I go to make sure I understand how everything is going. Uh, then I also picked up uh, absorption adapter for my weapon because again, DPS you want to survive. Sure, blaster adapter will probably be really great because you do extra DPS damage. You do extra damage. That's great. But I'm a melee rage DPS no one likes. I want to survive. I'm using the absorption adapter to at least try and heal myself, keep myself alive a little bit more. In the Berserker, damage output increases by additional 30% with your health drops below 35%. Mm, this is nice, but I really don't want to be below 35%, but just in case it happens, I have it right there. So that's a frame of reference for my stats and what I can do. Uh, do I mod? Eh, I mod sometimes, but it's whenever it's... I Probably when the stats matter things comes in the future, I will probably be modding. But at this point in time, I don't mod. Uh, I just don't. I use my I use my marks to victory for other stuff, and I do not farm for mods. It's just the way I go. So let's look at my actual tree. So first thing, the iconic powers you want to put two points into weapon expert and tactical genius. That's a must. That's a given. Next, in the anger tree to get where I am. So this right here is what your tree needs to look like for this loadout. The main key is to make sure to get Outrage and Gaulin Eruption. Now, as we are learning on the test server, Gaulin Eruption in melee range is a lot better than Plasma Wretch. So we're learning that on the test server. So if you want to do Gaulin Eruption, this is the way to do it. If you don't want it, then don't put points into Gaulin Eruption because you're going to need that point to get here. Because as you can see, this loadout this spec does not allow you cannot allow you to get both gallon eruption and plasma wretch to do so you're giving up either outrage or you're giving out giving away uh giving up bloodlust which that's a no-no because you need bloodlust that's a dps 101 you need that attack buff and outrage is a big heavy hitter and you do not want to get rid of that as well so this right here is the spec so, and let's go into our loadout. So, here's my loadout. It's, I don't think it's exactly what I used in Bombshell Paradox, but this is what I'm using now. Uh, it's Bloodlust, Relentless Anger, Remorseless Recovery, Golden Eruption, Outrage, and Eviscerating Chain. So, 
the way on how I start this rotation off is I do Golden Eruption, clip with Remorse's Recovery, clip with Raylan Zinger, clip with Bloodlust, and then I spam the hell out of Outrage of this Rain Chain, Outrage of this Rain Chain, Outrage of this Rain Chain. You go back and forth until Bloodlust is back up. Bloodlust is kind of your is your determining factor. Once Bloodlust is up, you should be able to go back and to do Golden Eruption, Remorseless Recovery, Relentless Anger, Bloodlust, and then back to your two abilities to attack. Okay? So, and of course, how I have my loadout does not specify my rotation, but each person with their controller and their keyboard keys, they have their placement for powers a bit differently than everyone. Everyone's their special little snow snowflake. Just go with it. So, in this video, I'm going to do this rotation against the three sparring targets in my... Huh, I have skill points this spell. I just saw that, but I'm going to leave that be. Um, so, I actually have the sparring targets here that I need to defeat. I'm going to use my rotation on them for five minutes. And so, that's a 300 second parser basically, and then we're going to go to the Log Analyzer website to look at see what the damage was done so you guys can get an idea on how on how much damage the powers were actually doing. Um, I don't specifically have a parser chat menu, but I could actually, I will do that right now. Let's, let's create that. Um, ooh, <laughs> let's not join the channel. Let's just make a new tab. We're going to add that. Edit it. Okay, save. Why are you doing this to me? Thank you. Thank you. That's better. None of my stuff is actually popping up. So, I'm getting rid of those. I'm getting rid of the mark of the, day, of the messes of the day. And... If you want to have a chat, a chat box here, a, a tab really, for just a parser, you will want to just do a damage summary. The damage summary is going to give you your parsers. Okay, so we're going to save that, and that's already saved. And then go over here to UI. No, no I'm sorry, the gameplay. And I'm going to write the combat log interval for 10 seconds. And the combat parser interval will be 10 seconds. So the combat log to disk, intervals in 10, the combat parser will show up in 10, every 10 seconds except, and I'm gonna make sure my combat log is deleted. You always wanna make sure you delete your combat log before you do any testing of your powers on Spartan targets, because you have to, because if you have, if you have like yesterday's combat and you try to attest now and you try to push that into your combat log analyzer it's going to skew your numbers so be sure to delete your combat log every time you want to do a test like this so okay so i have my timer put my timer on for five minutes ten seconds so that gives me ten seconds to get prepped up ready to go for this all right so get loosey-goosey so like I said, this is how we're going to do the rotation. And here we go. So, Golly, Remorseless, Relentless, Anger, Bloodlust. And then, oops, I messed up my com messed up Outrage's combo. And then once Bloodlust, oops, messed it up. But once Bloodlust is off rotation, that's when you start you start back over. Yeah. Now a lot of people are really complaining about Outrage's cooldown because you can't clip it. And that's very true. You it's not really a clippable power because you can see the cooldown on Outrage is actually longer than the other combos in the game for Rage in the Rage Tree. Yeah, so this rotation right here that I'm using does not really qualify much clipping. I can clip 
outrageous extra measure into eviscerating chain, but I cannot clip eviscerating chain into outrage. So I'm basically letting the animations kind of all go. And luckily, the three, the, the four abilities are actually clipping into themselves pretty nicely. So even if I mess up a little bit with the rotation for the first four powers, I'm actually pretty stellar. Now, now there are some players that don't use Remorseless Recovery. And the reason I use Remorseless Recovery is because I want to live. I do. So here's the power breakdown for this. Remorseless Recovery will do will give you heals based on the damage that you do to targets. Okay? You'll get those heals back from the damage that you do. Relentless Anger is going to give you heals for the damage you take in from enemies. Okay? So... You're, <laughs> you do not want to, uh, so, like I said, I'm all for survivability at this point. I really am. And I will be trying to go into an actual raid with, without Remorseless Recovery. But for now, it's kind of my bread and butter. Because I, I want to, I want to live. I so want to live. So you can actually replace, if you don't want to use Remorseless Recovery, you can switch it out. And I, def and I recommend it switching out for Revenge or Frenzy. If you know, if you're a Frenzy type of person, Frenzy's, I think Frenzy's trying to get as much love right now as possible. But with these two powers, with Outrage and Eviscerating Chain, again, you're seeing it like my DPS feels slow, but I'm also just kind of... I'm living in the moment, basically. <laughs> I really am. Now, the tips I can give as a Rage Melee DPS, in any Melee DPS that you're going to do, you're not going to sit on the boss the entire time. You just can't. Uh, if you saw my Necron video, where I got the OP belt, I accidentally gave, put the black pancake on the boss right next to the tank. That was a bad on me. Bad tracks. Bad DPS. So I should have actually been a little bit further in with the camera so I can see the, uh, see the tell, see the animation on me to know that I need to get out of the way so I don't hurt the tank in that fashion. And that's what melee has to do. Range has to look out for abilities that will hit that will hit them. Understandable, but melee you're in more danger because you're going to endanger the tank as well. So you need to know when to pop in and when to pop out of fights. Does that hurt your DPS? Yes, of course, because you're basically stopping your DPS to re readjust your movement. But that's them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. And this will be my last rotation because my five minutes are up. There. There. So, my five minutes are up. Let's go and put this in the log. Oh, I guess I actually say, it, on PC, this is how you get your log. PlayStation, you can't really get your log, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, wish there was a way to do it. Uh, but for PC people, you will go into your My Computer slash this PC, if you're on Windows 10, and you go to this PC, Documents, My Games, DC Universe Online, and Logs, and then you're going to see your combat log right there. It says Combat. That's basically what it is. Go ahead and hit Open on the website, and once it's done uploading, you will click your character's name, and you'll see your attacks. So we see here that, hey, I didn't do any melee attacks. I'm so happy. So we see that Outrage's Extra Measure was my bread and butter. No doubt. I'm pretty sure if I probably had Revenge in there, Revenge might be my bread and butter, just because of how the rotation went with my testing on, on test. But uh, Eviscerating Chain, 
minimum damage because eviscerating chain is only is only going to attack one character the eviscerate eviscerate here is actually the finisher that will hit multiple targets all right so when you're casting eviscerating chain and hoping for your 35 percent finisher it's not the chain it's the actual combo that gives you that finisher and then outrage extra measure is just a beast of damage uh relentless anger does it does damage while it's active so as you're taking damage in and getting heals it's also giving a portion back to the attacker and then of course outrage and gone eruption is just doing what it does best uh, so let's see so outrage's extra measure according to this right here i had every time i used it i had a 41 percent chance for it to crit and let's see the max damage it's ever it did was 10k that was a max that it did and we can of course come over here to top hits actually that's probably just giving me the moves itself or eviscerate um parser summary so five minutes a five minute if i was in a five minute mat fight or whatever um, my average DPS was 32k. My min was 584. <laughs> uh, my max DPS was 40k. And the entire time, I had a 24.5% chance to crit. Of course, if I had mods, and I got the mod bonuses to increase my crit chances, that would be higher. But since I don't mod, it's kind of my fault. It, it just kind of is. You can also see the times here of the, the number of seconds uh, for the amount of damage that I was doing each time. Uh, let's see, so at 30 seconds, I had like a 40,000 DPS. At 214 over 40. Oh, the 584 was, that 584 damage, that was because at the end of the rotation, I just let the damage from uh, from Gaul and the Russian from the plasma burn, that's where those numbers came from. So that's why it's at min. So if I would have continued at least one more rotation for an extra few seconds, that last one would have actually been a lot higher. That's why it just looks weird. But yeah. So this was my loadout. Again. As it must pop up there it is so again for my loadout for damage and this is why i use again because when i'm melee dpsing i i am there to do damage but i also need to survive because a dead dps does no damage no damage at all so so in my loadout i get bloodlust relentless anger remorseless recovery gall and eruption outrage and eviscerating chain these these three moves are my damage dealers, but these are my spams because these are my combos that I'm continuously doing to increase my damage while I'm in savage state because that's what, exactly what they do. And also understand this. Gallon Eruption needs to be on the targets. And by the time you're done with your rotation and everything's off cooldown, you're going to have to pick... Uh, this also allows you to refresh Gallon Eruption every single time it goes off because when the cooldown goes off the buff uh, the debuff goes off to the enemies so you want to keep that on at all times and luckily with this rotation it keeps it on the targets so gone eruption gives you the plasma burn that allows outrage and eviscerating chain to do extra damage because the plasma burn is there and once you do Outrage's extra measure, that's when Savage State starts. So I like to start off with Outrage because it's also a, a lunge ability as well. So once you get the Plasma Burn on the target, you do Outrage. Once you do extra measure, boom, you're in Savage State. And by the time you start your second round of the rotation, you'll have Bloodlust will extend the Savage State. Gone Eruption will extend the, the savage state as well 
These two do not. It, it does what it does. So, uh, and like I said, with Relentless Anger here, with Relentless Anger active, it causes damage to enemies equal to a portion of your outgoing rage combo and weapon damage. Which you're basically spamming rage combo, so it's doing a portion. And you also get healed back to damage taken for 8 seconds. Remorseless Recovery. This right here, you receive a healing equal to a portion of the damage dealt to enemies from your weapon attacks or rage combos. So you're taking in two types of heals right there with these two abilities. And you still have your healers to rely on as well. It's pretty nice. But this right here was my loadout. And if you guys have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And I will help out as much as possible. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.